everyone, it's Minnie here. Today I'm going to be jazzing up my new hardcover sketchbook and a pretty old, pretty rough softcover notebook. And I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to show you guys this really easy way to transform almost any book, so your journals, your notebooks, your school books, and really just give them a brand new look, any look you want. So all you're gonna need for this quick DIY is the book that you want to decorate. And as I said, it can be almost any book as long as it's not ring bound or disc bound or something like that. You'll also need some fabric that's at least two inches bigger than your book all the way around. So you could use a pillowcase, you could use an old shirt. For one of these, I'm actually using an old bag. You'll want some acrylic or fabric paint. I'm gonna be using acrylic paint. A knife a sponge and some sticky back plastic or self-adhesive paper, whatever you call it. Or if you don't have any of that, you can also use greaseproof paper and some sellotape. But I would recommend just going on Amazon and getting some sticky paper, it's just so much easier and it's really affordable. All right, so getting started, what we're gonna be doing is really simple. We're gonna be stenciling a design onto the fabric and then covering the book with the fabric. So the first thing you're gonna want when making your stencil is a silhouette image to work from for your shape. And I'm suggesting silhouette images because they're just so much easier for making stencils because they don't have so many details. So if you're going for this tropical design, I've actually put together a few templates for shapes of leaves and flowers and a few extra bits and I've put those on my blog so you can use them as well and those are all the ones that I've used in this video plus a few more and obviously if you don't find what you're looking for there or if you've got another idea of what you want your pattern to be maybe you want birds maybe you want butterflies I've also provided in that blog post a link to a website that has thousands and thousands of just silhouette images royalty free I'm not sponsored by them or anything, I just found it on Google. But I'm sure you'll find something there that you can use as well. Okay, so once you've decided on all the shapes you want to use and you've got them all together, set them up in a few different sizes on a Word document or something. And you can either print them onto the back of your sticky paper or if you're cheap like me and you want to save on printer ink, you can always just trace the shapes directly off your computer screen, which works just fine. Then place that paper onto a protective surface like a cutting mat or some cardboard or some magazines and use a knife to cut those shapes out and please be careful with this just take your time have a coffee with it while you're doing it it is fiddly but I found the fiddly bits with loads of detail look the best in the end and if you're really struggling and the paper keeps tearing or pulling it may just be that your knife is too blunt having a really really sharp knife makes all the difference but obviously you need to be careful and now for the fun part so make sure you have something underneath your fabric and then just start stenciling shapes on use your sponge to really push in the paint and to give it that extra bit of pizzazz, I think it's great to layer different shapes on top of each other in different colors, and also within each individual shape to use different colors, just to give it that extra bit of depth and detail. And I didn't wash my sponge at all through this process, and I didn't wait for anything to dry. The great thing about stencils is that you can be really messy, but as soon as you pull the stencil up, you're left with these really clean lines that makes it look like you've been way more careful than you actually have been. So I added my flamingos at the end because I wanted them to really be at the forefront of the pattern. And again, I used subtle changes in the shades of pink. I added a little black beak and once I peeled off the stencil, it looked like this. And at this point, I was having so much fun, I decided to just add a couple more leaves. Right, and I did the same sort of thing with my other piece of fabric, but to give it this simpler, more muted look, I added a bit of white to all my paint and I also stuck to a more limited color palette and um, I only used maybe two or three different shapes from this stencil template that I've provided just in different sizes. Then I left my two covers to dry. I left them overnight but I, I'm sure you could get away with waiting just a couple of hours or even just blasting them with a hairdryer. And once they were dry it was time to cover the books. And all you need for this now is some PVA glue or craft glue. Basically that typical white glue you know that you would get at school. And you might want to protect your pages with cling film. I tried this but it just turned out to be a bit of a faff. 
and I didn't end up getting any glue on my pages anyway but that might be something that you want to try and then just cover the front of your book with glue and carefully place it onto your fabric make sure it's straight and make sure you've left space all around the edges smooth it down and then do the same with the spine and the back of the book So I don't really know how to explain this, but basically where the front cover ends and the spine begins, cut two slits in your fabric so that you'll be able to fold it inwards and do the same for the back and then just open your book and glue down the corners and then the edges. And once you've done that, you might want to neaten it up by then gluing the back page of your book on top of all that. And then just do the same thing with the back of your book. And then once you do the same thing on the other side, you'll just have this little bit of fabric left over. And this is where things sort of differ, whether you're doing a hardcover book or a soft cover book. So with this one being the soft cover, I'm just gonna cut that excess bit of fabric off as close to the book as possible, and the glue should stop that fabric from fraying. Then with a hardcover, it's all the same steps as before, but with those excess bits of fabric, I'm just gonna cut them down slightly and then sort of push them inside where the binding of the book is. And you can see I'm doing it with my fingernail here, but you can use a screwdriver, you can use a butter knife, just anything that fits down there. And that's really it. I also added this little name label thing, which I stuck on with more PVA glue, and I think it makes a nice touch. And there you have it, I think it turned out great. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did enjoy it, please like, and subscribe and if you give this DIY a go and you end up posting any pictures on social media tag me at semi skimmed min because I'd love to check it out but uh, yeah other than that I will see you in the next one